Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to replace a pick list value in Salesforce and we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic interface in this video. So let's proceed and firstly discuss what does we mean by the replace pick list value in Salesforce. So in Salesforce, replacing the pick list value means the changing an existing pick list option with a new one. And to replace the pick list value with the new value, the pick list field metadata must be updated. And by doing this, it is made to sure that any record or a data point that refers to the previous pick list value are changed and reflect the new values always. Moreover, it is very important to take account that replacing the pick list value influence your current data as well as an automation or the business processes that depend on the pick list value that you are going to change. In addition to this, we can maintain our pick list option updated and synchronize by changing the pick list value as per our business need and the data standards. So in general, it helps you to maintain the data integrity uh, as per the new updation. So now we will move ahead and learn to replace the pick list value in Salesforce Lightning interface. So your first step is to log in into your Salesforce account as an administrator with the help of a administrator credentials and make sure that you are in a Lightning interface. If you are successfully logged into the Lightning interface, some of the time you will be directed to the home page of a particular application or the uh, first page that you have set up for the application. So now your step is to uh, make yourself to the main setup home page of a Salesforce Lightning interface. So for this you need to click on the gear icon that is given on the top right side and from this gear icon you need to click on the setup option that takes you to the setup for the current tab. It will open a new tab uh, and it takes you to the Lightning experience interface page of the main home setup. And once you successfully make on the page that is visible on your screen right now, you will get an object manager option that is given on the top of the navigation bar. Because the fields are the type of the object and for this you need to make sure that you will logged into the object manager. So here I click on this object manager from the top of a navigation bar and it takes me to the object manager page of a Salesforce Lightning experience. And here I will get the list of all the objects that are in Salesforce. Either it is a custom one or the standard one. Now from the list of these objects, your step is to choose up the object whose value you want to replace. And uh, you have a two ways to search for that either you can scroll down and search your uh, object and uh, other thing is that you simply click on this quick find box that is given on the top right side and here you type the name of that particular object in this case i am going to show you one example and here i am taking up the lead object so here i search for the lead in the quick find box and from here i click on the lead label once i click on that it takes me to the page that shows me a detail of this particular object that I have opened is named as a lead. On the right side, it gives me the detail about this object and on the left side, I will get the option regarding that object. So here you can see that on the second point, I have a one option of a fields and relationship as we are dealing up with the replace of the pick list value uh, and the pick list is a type of a field. So we need to deal up with the fields and relationship part. So here I click on this fields and relationship option and it open up all the fields that are in this lead object either it is a custom or the standard one on the right hand side. Here you can see that you will get the list of all the uh, fields in a lead. So now it's time to choose up the field whose value you want to replace. So either you can scroll down and search for the field or if you want to save your time you simply utilize this quick find box that is given on the top side and here i search for the lead resource i have here a pick list um, and here name is a lead resource so i simply search for this lead resource pick list and here i get the search result and i click on this lead resource once i click on that it takes me to the page uh, 
रिगार्डिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड नेम एज अ लीड रिसोर्स एंड हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू स्क्रोल डाउन एंड ऑन दिस हेयर आई हैव अ सेक्शन ऑफ अकाउंट लीड सोर्स पिक लिस्ट वैल्यूज एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दैट इट शोज मी द लिस्ट ऑफ द पिक लिस्ट वैल्यू दैट आर रिगार्डिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर लीड सो नाउ इट्स टाइम टू रिप्लेस द वैल्यू फॉर रिप्लेसिंग अप द वैल्यू यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन द रिप्लेस बटन दैट इज गिवन ऑन दिस सेक्शन here we have some buttons like new record replace printable view chart colors so from these button you need to click on the replace button once i click on this replace button it will take me to the page and here you need to choose up the exact value changing from here you need to enter up the value that you want to replace make sure that the pick list value must be in and saved in your pick list field in case i am going to change up the phone inquiry pick list value so let's type here phone inquiry here i typed and the next uh, from the drop down select value changing to field here you need to select the pick list value with whom you want to replace it so here i click on that and here i am going to replace it with the social media and here i selected for this reason the next to save up the changes i simply click on the replace button moreover we have here here one option replace all the blank values if you want to replace the blank values you can also check this check box basically it is a globally replace an existing value in the pick list with a new value and we have to make sure that you need to create up the new value for replacing up the uh, previous value and uh, note that if you are replacing an existing value it will update the record as per the last modified date and the time okay now you simply need to click on this replace and once you click on this replace button it will successfully replaced up the phone inquiry value with the social media and here you can see that it shows you that the pick list replace job is in a queue queue and you can check its progress on the background job page you will get an email when it successfully done so you will get email on your register account once it be uh, done so with this we have successfully learned up how we can replace the uh, pick list value in salesforce lightning now we will proceed and learn how we can replace the pick list value in a classic interface so for this you firstly logged in into your salesforce account as an administrator and next thing you make sure that you are in a classic interface if you are not logged into the classic interface you need to click on the avatar that is given on the top right side or your profile and here you will get a option of a switch to a salesforce classic once you click on that it will take you to the page of a salesforce classic and you will always redirect to the home page of a salesforce classic interface now your second step is to make sure that on your classic interface setup and for this you need to click on the setup button that is given on the top right side and once you click on that it will take you to the setup page of a salesforce classic and once you reached here you need to choose up the object for which you want to replace the pick list value either you can search for in the object in the quick find box for the easy process or you can scroll down and under this build section on the left side we have a customized drop down which shows the list of all the standard objects and here i am going to show you example for the products object that i have in this list and for this i search it and click on this Uh, drop down that is given next to it and by expanding it i get a different option and from these option i have chosen up the fields option so once i click on this fields option it takes me to the page where i will see the list of all the fields in this product object either it is a custom one or the standard one firstly we have a section of the standard fields and the next we have a uh, section for the custom fields now it's time to choose up the pick list value that you want to replace so you need to choose up the 
field first that is of a pick list type so here you can see that we have a multiple pick list field uh, but i am going to show you the example for this payment method you can see that in this payment method we have a button offer replace or you can either click on this payment method directly here i click on this payment method it take me to the page uh, that is particular regarding to this payment method option so now i scroll down and here i will get a option of a different pick list values that are in a, this product case so here we have a values and here i am going to replace a value so here i have a option of a replace I click on this replace button and once I click on this replace button it takes me to the page where I can globally replace an existing value in a pick list with the new one. So here firstly I have to make sure that I fill up the field that is exact value changing from. This field is a mandatory and here I need to fill up the value that I want to replace. Be sure that you need to save the pick list value in the pick list first if you don't have this value and in this case i am going to uh, change up the value for the credit card here i type the exact value as a credit card now here i have a different value as a select the value changing to here i am going to change up this credit card value to the check one so i check the uh, check drop down value from this drop down list here i do this thing in the select value changing to here basically i am choosing up the pick list value that i wish to replace it with the uh, particular value that i have mentioned above so after uh, selecting up the values the whom i want to change and with whom i want to change i select up both the value after that you need to click on this replace button that is given down so once you click on this replace button it will successfully replace up the value and it shows you the message your pick list uh, values are replaced and the process is in a uh, job of a queue now uh, you need to wait uh, for completing this process and once it's successfully completed it will notify you in your email id the email id is the one that you have filled up while registering in your salesforce account and you can uh, check it uh, if you have uh, some records that has that particular pick list value that you have chosen up it successfully changed up to the new value so with this we have learned how to replace a pick list value in salesforce lightning as well as a classic in this video so if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one Thanking you for watching and have a great day.